Hey, welcome back to a special episode for us. I want to say a quick thanks to all our Patreons, who absolutely are the ones who keep these videos going. Thank you, thank you. If you enjoyed these videos, send us a comment, let us know, and please subscribe. It's free and actually very helpful to the growth of our channel. Oh God. Enjoy. All right, guys, you know what today is? Potato leg day. That too. Oh. One day away. One day, away. <laughs> One day out. Wow. Last yeah. push. Last final push. Oh, Last 24 sure hours. Do you say that now? No. We're That's a good in. Point. Two more skip the last. We're, We're in progress. progress. Yeah. yeah. We're in progressively progress. making it to maybe one day out. <laughs> but no guarantees. Two more skip the last. We're happy either way. are one day out and actually at the pace we were going we would have gotten in there about two o'clock in the morning so what we've done is we've dropped the main and we're going by just the jib alone which is fine we are slowed down to about four four and a half knots and it's quite comfortable we're gonna work on a few little things that I didn't like chafe areas and I still have an issue with the dam <sighs> rudder arm is a little loose and I can't quite get all in all the bolt bolts so it's a good day to kind of work on projects so that's what we're doing project day so even though the journey had been relatively easy on the ship and crew it was still several thousand well-earned miles of constant moving and even occasional abuse on Va. and she has done amazingly well with surprisingly little wear to show for all the miles and different conditions she has carried us through so partly out of necessity and largely attempting to distract ourselves from the excitement of arrival, we all got to work, giving Va a little bit of love and attention. And while I wrenched on our old girl trying to iron out two chafe spots on two different lines, the rest of the crew cleaned, polished, and generally just enjoyed our last day at sea. I've complained about this steering arm being undersized and under-engineered in the past, and it's still holding true. I've the original old owner, Miguel, he reinforced it and had it beefed up and then I took it even a step further when we were in Puerto Vallarta and I had it beefed up and had the plates added to the side and I think the arm itself is strong enough but we've added bolts too and I can't get to all the bolts to get them really, really tight. So I'm still monkeying around with this thing trying to be able to get to them. So I'm modifying these bolts so that I can uh, get a wrench on all of them. They're, they just sit so close to each other. And I'm doing it while the thing is moving, while we're still under power air. I mean, it's got to get done. So things moving back and forth, but it should be all right. That should do it. It's the last one and just in time for lunch. <laughs> should get us there though and then I'll have to mess with it a little bit more I think. That's good for now.
baby. Land ho. Land ho. Land ho, honey. Do you want to come see the island and watch the sunrise with me? Yeah. I got the coffee ready. Okay. Okay, I'll see you up there. Okay. You coming up soon? We had done it. I believe I speak for all four of us when I say that this experience had lived in our hearts and in our hopes for longer than we can remember. A true dream made true. I say made true rather than came true because that's the truth of it. This didn't just happen to any of us. We all built a dream, put it together with hard work, experience, and sacrifice, and then made it happen. We did it, guys. Yes. Va, hell of a job. She did Super good. impressed. There was never a doubt over any of us, but at the same time, we are all equally aware of the risks and how quickly things can change and how quickly the unexpected can become a catastrophe. So making landfall, however likely, is still never guaranteed. So when it does happen, especially after so many days at sea, it's quite powerful.
moorings. We're dropping the hook. First time in 34 days. Oh <laughs> we were excited would be an understatement. Backdrop and the music is perfect. So beautiful. All right, you guys. We made it to the Marquesas. so ready for land and towns and people and mother nature and we really looked forward to everything landfall had for us well most of us <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't kick at him now you got a friend <laughs> oh. do you want to go back to the sea <laughs> pull the anchor up <laughs> spice is crazy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't go. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wish I would have gotten that all on. Good go, bro. I hate bees. That lasted for about 30 seconds. He just got chased around oh, up here. Oh, we gotta here. go. <laughs> ah. You're two at one point. This place is crazy. It's like almost smashed your ukulele. Yeah, you're like, I don't give a shit. You see the size of that thing? I have to survive. The thing was huge. Just wait till we get There's to shore. There's two of them. There were, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. wow. Oof. We're here. Okay. <laughs> A new flag. Okay, she's up. <laughs> Look at that! Wow! <laughs> yeah, Patty! <laughs>
Ladies, load up. A bottle of champagne and a couple of beers. She said there's not many waves up on that one. one <laughs> Tanner's like, screw everything! Wait, 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 no, what about the waves? <laughs> so what about the surf? Before we leave. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Swim in the bag, grab the bag. Yeah, I got the bag. Yeah. First things first, when you get to an island, get your bag ends. There was not much to the town, although to our surprise, the few people that did reside here appeared to do so quite comfortably. There were plenty of nice vehicles in fine shape, the roads were all paved, good looking little homes that were all in pretty good shape, and everyone even had a great little electric bike to cruise around on. Whatever they were doing appeared to be working well. Our legs are tired. They are unused. <laughs> oh, they're hurting. Mine more than maybe others, but. Different muscles for sure. Yeah. Especially like up that little hill. Yeah, that hill right? just kicked their butt. Yeah. You guys can't tell, but that's a huge hill. <laughs> huge. <laughs> huge. <laughs> we found Tanner. We found you. Hi. How goes it? You're about to be so stoked. Oh, good. Tell us. Look at us. What? Uh, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> yes. Get it, Oh. That's oh, what I needed. Paradise. I needed paradise. Woo! Woo! Paradise. Oh, so Truly crazy. paradise here. <laughs> wow. Oh, Incredible. So beautiful. This is straight up from like an imagina imagination. Like this is in my imagination. <gasps> this is real. Storybook. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Wow, it is wow. so pretty. 
Babe, what? David? What? Hey. Oh. Can we stay here forever? Okay, good. Just you and me. And Tanner and Patty. <laughs> and our little babies. And our little kiddos. I'll show you the view from the front of the boat. The view from any part on the boat is amazing. Look at that. What? What? We could not have picked a better island to make our first landfall at. Just stunning. Wow. Well, guys, that's it. That's the end of this one. If you've made it here, you're among the very elite of our favorite viewers. Well done. This was a pretty special episode to put together. It was certainly a lot of fun to go back through all the footage and partially relive all those emotions. Hopefully it was exciting for you all to watch as well. Thanks very much for tuning in and especially to all of you who have subscribed and sent us messages. Man, we'd love them. Keep that up. Cheers.